We begin tonight with weather, and yes, we know the calendar says it is still August, but it won't feel like August tonight. Farmers and gardeners around eastern Idaho are preparing for tonight's frost advisory. To talk about the risk, Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Pope joins us. Now, Steve, if crops were to freeze tonight, what sort of impact would that have on consumers? Well, Chris, prices particularly on potatoes could go wild, but farmers are taking some measures to protect their crops. And you gardeners at home can take advantage of these tips as well. Brett Reynolds is a farmer in Ashton with 3,000 acres of land, 600 of which are dedicated to potatoes. If we had a frost right now and if it was severe enough, you'd see this potato market just go crazy. Reynolds says the potato market had a late start this year, so if the frost ended the season early, this year's spuds could be duds. They died right now. Some of the guys would not have enough uh, size to be able to, to make it up, even the diggers right now. But farmers like Reynolds are taking protective measures. Uh, one of the biggest things is we're trying to keep the fields uh, soaked up and wet, and uh, we're going to be running our pivots around tonight at a fast speed to, to help with the frost, and then also uh, the rain that we've had uh, last night will definitely help a little bit. The reason putting water on your plants before frost is helpful is that it helps warm them up by acting as a buffer to the intense cold. One of the things that you want to keep in mind is your warm season crops, they can be frosted uh, and they're very sensitive to a, a light frost. Um, so if you can, cover them up. Now when it comes to your garden, there's a few plants you want to make sure you cover up tonight, including your pumpkins. Your pumpkins are at risk tonight, as well as your zucchinis and tomatoes. For those of you with apple trees at home, Apples will not be affected so much by tonight's frost, and that's because apples have a high sugar content which protects them against that frost. A light frost tonight is not going to harm your apples, but instead it will start the process of changing the sugars so that the apples will become sweeter. A lot of apple varieties need a light frost to change those sugars, otherwise they will have a lousy flavor and won't taste as good. 81-year-old Jolene Parkinson has had a garden for about 60 years. Okay, I'm really not too concerned about the frost tonight because the beans will freeze, but I've been picking beans now for two weeks. The corn, it's just about ready, so I don't think it's going to hurt the corn. It will kill the zucchini and the pumpkins, and they're not ready. So be sure to water your plants and cover them up if you can. Now, earlier today, the Weather Service had issued a frost watch, but later that was changed to a frost advisory. The advisory means that conditions are prime for a frost to occur. I'm sure Steve Cannon will have more about that, Chris. Well, thanks, Steve. We're going to find out about that right now as we switch gears over to Steve Cannon. And Steve, how worried should folks be tonight about the possibility of a frost? Very worried. In fact, we're expecting near record low temperatures for most of the area. 